Hello everyone, this is Curtis at Home Cooking. All right, y'all, I'm finna uh, see if I can fix a breakfast burrito. So uh, let's look at what all I'm gonna put into this breakfast burrito. Okay, check it out, check it out. Okay, I have some pan sausage. I got some bacon. I have some ham. I have uh, some of these tortillas right here for the burrito. I picked up a pack of them and they soft, so uh, it was uh, cheaper for me to go ahead and get them already laid out and quicker. So I got some of them. And also I got some of this sharp cheddar cheese here that I've been using on some of my other meals when I'm cooking. So I got some of that. So we're gonna use some of that in there. And we got some eggs, so we're gonna use that. And we're gonna use some potatoes to put in there. And I wanna show y'all some of this here. I was gonna fix a sauce, but then I said, well, why not? I'm gonna use a little bit of this here. Now this here stuff here, y'all, this here ain't nothing to play with. This here, y'all can see it, it ain't nothing to play with. This stuff here will light you up. It is hot. I mean, you see it on there, it's a extra, extra, extra hot. This here, oh, so I'm going to be using a little bit of it, not a lot. So I'm going to just try to season that up. Now, also, I'm going to add a, uh, a tomato. I'm going to put some tomatoes in on this here. So we're going to have a really, really, what can I say, a really good, tasty breakfast burrito today. So let me, uh, let me get set up and, uh, Get the skillets going, get the eggs cooking, get the uh, get the sausage cooking, and get this burrito here together. All right, y'all. All right, let me get ready. Let me get, let me get everything set up. Okay.
Okay, got the ham all cut up there. And you can see over here, we got the uh, bacon and the sausage there cooking. So right now, I'm just gonna let that simmer and turn it. I'm gonna turn it over the bacon and I'll get the sausage cooked real good. Okay. Looking good. The browning up real good here. Okay, so now we're going to take and get a potato ready. I'm going to get this potato oil peel cleaned off. All right, got that all good and clean. I'm gonna take that away. We just take this off of here. And uh, Now, we're going to take this here potato, just take and cut it, that right there, and then some small pieces, that right there. So then we're just going to slice them up.
All right, got the potatoes all chopped up like I like to have them. Take and put some uh, black pepper. I'm gonna sprinkle some black pepper over these potatoes. A little bit like that. Just get a little bit of this McCoy here, black pepper. Put that on there, a little seasoning on them. Okay, gonna be good for that. Then, I'm going to take and put some of this here on here. This here, uh, slap your mom. We're going to try a little bit of that today on this. This is always a good season. Bring in a good little flavor to them. Put a little of that on that. Okay, boom. Now, as you can see, we got that going, and right now, you can see how this here is good and brown right here. So, we're going to use some of that grease right there just to cook them on down a little bit more. Get those pan sausages right, just like I want it. We got the bacon in there, too. So, we just want to cook it down a little bit more. Get that bacon all good and crispy. Get some of that good, good flavor in there, as you can see. And that pan sauce, you know, I'm just going to break it up anyway. So I just put it in there like that. So this is gonna be a really good. I want good flavor. So I'm putting all the oil in there. Down. Get that good bacon flavor and sausage flavor together. Okay, now we're gonna come back over here and uh, we're gonna move this over. The potatoes, we're gonna get them uh, transferred over into the pot. Just wanna let it get a little bit more of that grease in there. And what I wanna do is uh, take and split the cheese. Uh, Here. So we're gonna move this here out the way for right now. Move this over to the side. I'm gonna put this right in here. And what I'm gonna do is just, you know, take in free some of this this cheese over here. Some of this sharp shattered cheese. I can just take in the uh, you know, just, you know, spread some of that in there that I'm going to use for it. See, that's coming out. Spread that over there. All right. So I'm going to use a little bit of that when I want to uh, take and uh, put over the potatoes. Just to give it a little bit more flavor there. So we got that going. So we'll set that to there, over to the side for now. And you know, 
still have uh, the sausage over here cooking, bacon. So we still got it over here, We're just cooking it down, cooking the bacon, bacon down. I like to cook it all the way through. I don't want to know uh, where it's half cooked or anything in there raw. So this is going to be all cooked all the way through so I can get all that grease down out of it and get that good flavor in there to it. And then I'll take it out. I'm going to uh, take and mix up my eggs right now. Okay, let me, let me move over here. Let's get a bowl for the eggs. We're gonna have two eggs that we're gonna use for this burrito. So we're gonna grab another bowl. We're gonna set this here to the side. We're gonna put that right there. And uh, we're gonna take and hopefully put in some eggs in here. So let's see. We're gonna have one egg. Take the crack that egg. Put that right there. And I got another egg right here. Okay. Put that right there. And uh, and we're gonna take and uh, you know as I always say, we just. We're just gonna take it and uh, we'll take and whisk this here egg right here. Just want to take it and whisk it around right there. Okay. Alrighty. Let's check over here. Okay. Make sure. Alright, we got the we got the sauce all cooked down. So now Set that to the side, let it drain some of that grease off of it, and okay, everyone. I'm gonna put some of this here, uh, extra uh, virgin oil into the uh, skillet over here. I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in there for the eggs. What I want to do is just add a little bit of that off in there. You know, just coat my pan with that for the egg. Put that in there. Then we're just gonna, you know, move it around a little bit here. Move it around. Just to get the pan all good and oiled up here. I'm gonna get this back pan going back here. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add add the eggs in here what I like to do is just add the eggs off in there like that right there and uh, then what I want to do is I just want to take and put you know some of this ham off up in my eggs and stuff right here I want to just add that off in there this ham, put that in there. I know it's gonna be looking like it's an omelet, but hey, this is gonna be one of these loaded out breakfast burritos. So we put that off in there, and then you know, when we got it on a low, we just kind of you know mix it around in here, 
just stir it around in there slowly so we can get these get that ham all coated into those eggs right there as you can see right here get this ham all in there just want to cook it slowly not too much heat just to get that good flavor into it right here yeah so we're just cooking that down into that and uh going in the back got the pan cooking back here and so as you can see we want to cook those eggs all good and down just slowly cook them move it around in there being over here we got what we're gonna do is uh, take on the back side over here we we'll had a skillet back over here we're gonna take and put these uh, potatoes over there We want to do, you know, just turn that down. And what we want to do is just let that simmer a little bit. Like that. We're gonna add a little of that oil over the potatoes, so we can give give it a good little flavor. There we go. We got them in there. Let's turn them over a little bit. Still got the eggs going here. Get that good ham egg flavor in it. Get that kind of stir it in there. Just slow cook that. And just kind of turn it up, cook it all the way through, get the eggs all 
soaked in there with that ham flavor. Uh, this is going to be one good, good old thick breakfast burrito. Oh man, yeah. Now what I like to do, since I got to have that all cooked down in there, I like to take it and just mix with some of this off in there and just stir it around in there. Oh boy, this here really get it all good. Put that bacon, all of it in there. And I cook it together. It's gonna bring all this flavor into it now. Ugh. See the way I like to do my my breakfast burrito. So I got that ham, I got the eggs, the pan sausage. Uh, we get it all mixed together in here. Mmm. Then we're gonna get it all good and cooked, and we can just wrap it up there. So now we're gonna get all this flavor off up in it. Okay. So we're cooking it on, cook it low, just just to add a little bit of eggs in there. Now, what I always say, if you want to get it really hot, we add some of this here. Uh, Y'all know some of this here stuff here, extra hot. But we're just gonna shake it up a little bit. Now I ain't gonna put too much. I'm gonna put a little tab in there. But this here stuff here, man, it's gonna make it ooh. I hope I don't put too much on there. I'm scared. Oh man. I'm kind of scared. I just want to. Just want a little, little dab. Put a little bit of this on there. All over, just cook it in. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good though. Mix it around in there. It's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be all good. Got that good flavor. All of this off in here. So if you can make almost two breakfast burrito wraps out of it. Just want to cook it all the way through, get your potatoes. So I like to get them kind of, you know, crispy on the outside. Just want them good and smooth, you know, so when you bite into them, you get that little juicy potato feeling where it's soft and all. So normally, I, you know, I just take them, put them like that there, cook them like that. And sometimes what I'll do is, you know, while it's cooking on that, 
we can just take and put a little top on there, just kind of smother it in there. Get that flavor from the potatoes off in there real good. And uh, that's going to make it really, you know, pop. And it's going to be really smooth when you bite into it. You get that juicy texture of the potato in there. So this way we get it all the way through. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a good old breakfast burrito here. And so what, what, what I do is, you know, while it's cooking, I'm taking, you know, that cheese that I shredded, I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit of that off in there. See, we just wanna put a little bit of this sharp cheddar cheese, mix it all in around in here. Mix that in there. So we're gonna, we, we're looking to just had it warm in there and just kind of mix it up a little bit more. So we can have something in here. Just, oh man, we just gonna have the good cheesy flavor to it. Uh, it's gonna be uh with the egg in there and the ham and the hand sausage. Oh, this is gonna be good. Wait till I get it all wrapped up here. Oh boy. Mm hmm. It's gonna be good, y'all. Shoot, I may have to do two wraps on this one. Oh yeah. Let's see how the potatoes doing. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's see how those potatoes they're coming along real good here. Good and brown. Yeah. Give them a good feeling here. So we got that going right there. And what we're gonna do, you know, on the wrap, uh, got I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna have some of that sour cream that I lay out right here. Got some of that original sour cream that I got from Kroger. I'm gonna put that on the wrap over here for the burrito. We're gonna spread some of that on there. So what I wanna do is kind of warm that up right now. The, uh, what I'm seeing warm up is uh you know the tortillas I'm gonna warm it up a little bit and then put some of that that uh sour cream on there because we're gonna be ready here in a few minutes oh yeah them potatoes are gonna be all good and cooked all over the place. we don't want nothing to we don't want nothing to be biting into it and it tastes kind of raw nah we want it to be smooth cushy juicy that's what we're looking for So that, that's just cooking there. So y'all know me, what I do is, you know, I just take, I take one of these here. You know, once I get them out, I take one of them and I can just lay it on over there. And I'm just going to warm it a little bit. It just need a little part to it, you know. Not, not too much. Just, you're just going to toast it just a little bit. Just turn it down low like that right there just kind of toast it a little bit right there see it's just gonna kind of warm it up a little bit brown it and uh you know see that's just kind of way i do it you know like, like right there i'm just kind of warming it a little bit it'll be bad just kind of turn it over and uh just put a little heat to it on your wrap See, just kind of brown it like that, and uh, as you can see, like how I'm browning that right there. Okay, now I'm just gonna take it once I get it warm, and I'll just take it and uh, move up, move it over, move it over here. And what I'm gonna do is, like I told you, I'm gonna take and. Uh, Put some, uh, uh, I'm gonna take it, you know, take it right here, as you can see right there, and I'm gonna put some of that, uh, put some of that, uh, that sour cream that I was telling you about. We're just gonna take and put some of that in there. We just, you know, 
put some of that, spread it around like that right there. You know, this is giving a good little flavor here. Just spread that off in there. You know, good top. Add a little bit more to it. And then what I do is uh as you can see right like I have it right here. Okay, we got that, that sour cream on that. And so what I'm gonna do now is uh I'm gonna go on and uh I'm gonna go over here. You can see the way the potatoes are looking over here. I'm gonna go on and take some of those potatoes and I'm gonna put them all in here. Yeah, they good brown. So you just wanna take some of them, you know, add them in there. You know, put those potatoes off in there. You know, and that's okay if I. If I drop a truck love, well, it's alright. No, it's okay. I can fix some more. You just want to take, you know, put some of that in there. Now this is all loaded, you know, this. Oh shit, I dropped another one. That's okay though. But I just take and I put them all off in there and just kind of, you know, mix it up a little bit more. A little bit more right here. As you can see. This is what I got. Got cheese, ham, all of that off up in there. Now, now that I have all of that in there, now what I want to do, like I said, I'm gonna add some tomatoes. So I gotta, I gotta chop up some tomatoes in here. So I got the potatoes in there. I got everything loaded. So this is everything that I need for my wrap. I got it all mixed the way I want it. Okay, so now let me get my tomatoes and put in there. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on. Okay, I got the tomato and I rinsed it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and slice a little bit of that off right there. Just the skin. And then I'm going to slice another portion of this tomato. Like right here. I think I need to do two slices right there of the tomato. We're going to sit it over here for the time being. And then we're just going to chop this tomato up. You know, like in little pieces here. And, you know, just have it like that. Then we're going we're gonna to add this into that ingredients. And yeah, we got the tomatoes off in there. So we're going to get that good flavor. So what I want to do, you know, I take this right here. This right here. And uh, we're just going to take, take all of this. Just so I can show y'all. Put it on a spoon here, and we're gonna take and move it on over here, and we're just gonna mix it all in right here. See, just put that tomatoes all in there, like that. Mix it all up in there. So now that we got all of these ingredients off up in here, you know. We got something all loaded. So we want it to be a good mix for this year. Breakfast for real. So now, all we're going to do, we're going to take us a little bit of this. We're going to add it over here. Put a little bit in there. Then we're going to add us a little bit more. See? Like right in here. Add a little bit more of that right in there. You can see right there. So we got bacon, ham, and all that. So we... You know, we got enough to make, I don't know how many, you know, we can make make a couple of these boy boys right here. So, we got that off in there. Now, what we're going to do is, since we got all of this here in here, so now, what I want to do, and I always do, I take and I add some more of this chatter cheese all in there. You know, just add a little bit more of that chatter cheese into it. See that like that right there. And uh, now, I'm being brave today. So I'm going to take and put a little bit more of this extra, extra hot sauce. And I'm being brave. I'm being brave. Normally I would have, like I was telling you earlier, I would have mixed my own sauce. But 
we don't want to put too much of that in there. But this is just, uh, it's going to be hot. So, we got it all together, y'all. So now what we're going to do is I'm, I'm, we're going to wrap it and we're going to taste it. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let me... Let me let me let me let me let me move around here so I can uh, taste this. Hold on just a minute. All right, y'all. I'm gonna see if I can wrap it. Just gonna put it like that right there, and we're just gonna fold it over like that right there. Fold it over like that, right there. All right. So now. We got this together. Oh, these are small. These are the small ones, so you know, we got it all wrapped up. But let's 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 go on and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bite of this, y'all. So let let me bite into this and see what it tastes like, y'all. Let, let me take a bite of it. Mmm. Bacon, ham, egg, cheese, potatoes. Mm. This is good. See, I got enough to make another one, y'all. This is, oh man. Especially with this sour cream on there. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Man. I'm right over oh, I can taste that hot sauce in there. Oh, God. Mmm. What a breakfast, y'all. This, oh man. Like I said, I'm eating something for y'all. This is good, though. I'm gonna tell you. Well, y'all seen how I prepared it, and you seen all the stuff, the ingredients that I put in it. It takes time to put something together like this to get a good, a good taste. And this is good. I tell you, it's got all the flavors in there, and it's working, boy. This is working. Mm, I can feel it. Mmm. Mmm. Taste of that good old short cheddar cheese in there. I like them. Mm. Man, I have to fix another one, y'all. Mm. Mm. Man, this is good. Takes time to make them, but it's good when you get them all done. Mm. I used to fix these years ago when I lived in California. I would have a breakfast burrito. And, um, all right, guys, as I was saying, I used to uh, fix these when I was living in California some years ago. And I'd just gotten off work, and a guy came by, and well, he was an apartment manager, and he lived in there. And he says, uh, he said, hey, what you having for breakfast? I said, well, I'm finna go home and cook something. He said, well, uh, hey, I'll buy everything if you'll cook it. And uh, I said, okay. So I'll take you on there. So we went to the grocery store, and I got all the ingredients that we needed to uh, prepare one of these breakfast burritos. I fixed it for him, and uh, I was eating too, so... I didn't care. I, I fixed it for him. He didn't know nothing about cooking. I'm fixing nothing. So I fixed that thing for him. And every morning he was looking for me. <laughs> I had to change my route. And I said, no, nah, I ain't going. I ain't finna cook this morning. I just got off work because I worked the night shift. And so I was like, no, nah, man. <laughs> but anyway, he enjoyed it. And I, I was happy to prepare one of these those meals for him. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I'm some water. That sauce is kicking in now. And, uh, listen, I'm enjoying this here. Mm. I think I'll fix another one. Mm. Mm -hmm. We'll be fixing another one right soon here. Yeah. Mm. I tell you. But anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed me preparing a breakfast uh, burrito. And stay tuned, because I will be cooking 
something else soon. So uh, I hope you tune into the channel and keep watching, and uh, you'll see some more of me cooking something else or baking something. But uh, until then, y'all take care and have a good week. Bye.